All right, let's make some crispy breakfast potatoes. Or sometimes they're called as home fries. Let me just make sure the angle is good. All right, we're good to go. I'm gonna get this pan heating up. Let's see, how big is this potato? Probably use the medium sized one. Now nah, they might be a little bit crowded. Do it to start heating up. Just gotta wash these dishes. Again, I like the potato skin on. You can peel it off if you want. Um, but I like the fiber that it gives. As they scrub them with the, you know, sponge. Great, let's just pull out a cutting board. Probably make some egg and some avocado with this. All right. Just sharpened my knives recently and it's been amazing, I love it. So I'm just gonna cut them into like little, Like, kind of like if you were going to prepare some french fries, right? But we're going to end up cubing them instead. Take off any parts that don't look that good. So look, see, pretend you're making french fries first. You're going to be cutting them on the vertical axis. And now we'll cut them on the horizontal. This is probably my favorite way to prepare potato besides french fries and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is pretty good, but this is my go-to. In my opinion, this is the easiest. And I love it with breakfast, but you can have it with almost anything if you'd like. Good variation for this is also using, um, cutting up some onion, mixing it in. It's pretty good as well. So let's see, how's this doing? Gotta turn up the heat, get an egg out. My utensils. Some salt, some pepper. How's it feel? It's almost there. Turn on the vent. And let's add some oil. And we'll test it. So I just put in a little piece. Once I hear it sizzling, that means that it's ready to be added. Cut this one a little bit smaller. Then, let's see which avocado is better. This one's more ready. This one's a little bit more soft. Oh, it's starting to sizzle. We're ready to go. And if you don't want it to splatter on you, put it on the dry side and then move it to the oil after. See? This only works on my stove because my stove is kind of off. <laughs> I'm running, so didn't get to decide how it was set up, but make the most out of it. Make sure all your potato gets coated in oil because the whole goal of these potatoes is to get golden brown, delicious, nice and crispy. And if your food has oil on it, there's more contact area that it's gonna have so more edges are going to be more evenly cooked. So after everything's well mixed, make sure everything has their space. It's well and separated. Everything's touching the pan. You can do, I like, I'm doing high heat right now. I might turn it down to medium high. Medium to medium high in a little bit. But for now, while it's heating up, 
it'll be like this. And you don't want to salt right now. You'll probably like to, you want to salt later. I'm not gonna cut the avocado until it's close to time to eat. Yeah, and then we just let that do its thing. Meanwhile, of course, always, always while you're cooking, do your dish. All right, let's make some crispy breakfast potatoes. Or sometimes they're called as home fries. Let me just make sure the angle is good. All right, we're good to go. I'm gonna get this pan heating up. Let's see, how big is this potato? Probably use the medium sized one. Now nah, they might be a little bit crowded. Here's the big one. Get this start heating up. Gotta wash these dishes. Again, I like the potato skin on. You can peel it off if you want. Um, but I like the fiber that it gives. As they scrub them with the, you know, sponge. Great, let's just pull out a cutting board. Probably make some egg and some avocado with this. All right. Just sharpened my knives recently and it's been amazing. I love it. So I'm just gonna cut them into like little, like kind of like if you were gonna prepare some french fries, right? But we're gonna end up cubing them instead. Take off any parts that don't look that good. So look, see. Pretend you're making french fries first. You're gonna be cutting them on the vertical axis and now we'll cut them on the horizontal. This is probably my favorite way to prepare potato besides french fries and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is pretty good, but this is my go-to. In my opinion, this is the easiest. And I love it with breakfast, but you can have it with almost anything if you'd like. Good variation for this is also using, um, cutting up some onion, mixing it in. It's pretty good as well. So let's see, how's this doing? Gotta turn up the heat, get an egg out. my utensils, some salt, some pepper, and let's see how does it feel. It's almost there. Turn on the vent. Add some oil and we'll test it so I just put in a little piece once I hear it sizzling that means that it's ready to be added cut this one a little bit smaller then let's see which avocado is better this one's more ready. This one's a little bit more soft. Oh, it's starting to sizzle. We're ready to go. And if you don't want it to splatter on you, put it on the dry side and then move it to the oil after. See, this only works on my stove because my stove is kind of off. <laughs> I'm running, so didn't get to decide how it was set up, but make the most out of it. Make sure all your potato gets coated in oil because the whole goal of these potatoes is to get golden brown delicious, nice and crispy. And if your food has oil on it, there's more contact area that it's gonna have. So more edges are gonna be more evenly cooked. So after everything's well mixed, 
make sure everything has their space well and separated everything's touching the pan you can do I like I'm doing high heat right now I might turn it down to medium high medium to medium high in a little bit but for now while it's heating up it'll be like this and you don't want to salt right now you'll probably like to, they want to salt later I'm not gonna cut the avocado until it's close to time to eat yeah and then we just let that do its thing meanwhile of course always always while you're cooking do your dishes don't wait no see honestly i hate doing dishes but if you don't let them pile up it's not as hard me and Jackie have a good deal where usually if i i cook she cleans but if i'm here i'm like might as well clean it off because a clean kitchen makes me happy or food in the kitchen makes me happy so either way so while that cooks because otherwise if you're right there next to your potatoes you're gonna want to start stirring them and that's not gonna help you want it to to go through that maillard reaction which is where kind of gets brown and crispy same thing happens with um with meat so yeah don't move it too much let it do its thing You know, wash some dishes. I'm sure you got some in there. Don't neglect it. Ooh, this water's hot. But I like washing with hot water, even if it burns me. It's more sanitary. Ooh, burning me. I don't know if it's just me, but I have a pattern when I wash dishes. I try to wash the big things first, and then the smaller items, just because I feel like it's easier to organize them on your drying rack. I don't know. Leave it in the comments if you have like a method to your madness. I know I do. I have a method to my madness for most things I do in my life. I don't do things usually just because most of the times I do have like a reason why I do it. Okay, I'm gonna go check on those potatoes after this dish right here. This is now a dishwashing channel. Yeah, you guys might ask, hey, you have a dishwasher, why don't you use the dishwasher? I mean, I do have a dishwasher, but old habits die hard. Was raised in a family where we didn't really have a dishwasher, so that's just how I do things. Oh, look at that. Starting to get some color. Now I can turn it down to like medium. It's plenty hot. So yeah, this is a great easy breakfast. Again, you don't want to salt while it's cooking, you want to salt after. Kind of like when you're at McDonald's and you're eating, they, you see them pull out some fresh french fries, they salt after, not while it's in there. Same concept. And you want to do it immediately. Immediately after cooking. Is that chocolate? Yeah, that was chocolate. Or coffee. Yeah, make coffee every morning with that French press. Haven't got a chance to clean it yet though. I'm just cut some fruit on this cutting board right here. Ooh, hot. Yeah, now the potatoes should be cooking pretty quickly because after it gets the first side is brown usually the pan is up to temp and potatoes already kind of cooked through so it just needs to crisp on all sides look at that 
okay? So now you can start stirring, making sure every side comes into contact with the pan. Oh, man, overboard. I need to slow it down. Grab the pan so it's easier to flip. I still want these a little bit more crispy. Well, all, mostly all golden brown. RIP to these right here. I'm not touching that when it's too hot. Yeah. Wash your dishes, folks. Don't let them pile up. And then after that, that same pan, I'm gonna use it to cook up some eggs. Or cook up a egg. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick. So like, let's say if you like your eggs over easy, you still want the yolk runny, but you don't wanna flip your egg. I got a little trick for you in a little bit too. Okay, after this dish, I'm gonna go check on it. But yeah, it's good to do something else while you let your foods kind of crisp up. But just make sure you keep an eye on them because you do not want them to burn. If I wouldn't have turned down the, the flame, they probably would have been, you know, burning by now. But since I turned it down, it's fine. Try to turn it up a little bit more. Most potatoes will work for this. I like russets the best for this, but these are, I think these are kind of like Yukon Gold right here. Or something similar, similar to that. So they have a little less starch. The starchier potatoes are usually best for frying, but yeah, this works. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking right there. So on here, I'm gonna put like a paper towel so it can absorb the oil. I don't want no super oily potatoes. I mean, you might, but I don't. Turn this off, and these are good. And push them up against the side, let them drain out, lose some of that oil. And you do want to pull them out the pan i mean you can but then if if you leave them in the pan they're gonna get pretty oily so it's best best to pull them out so there you go get that last one and salt immediately so make some room make sure they're all kind of spread out and you know what instead of salt i'm gonna use this meat seasoning that i really like similar to Lori's. it's really really good and some black pepper. These are really, really good. Okay, now with that same oil, I'm gonna crack this egg in there. Turn up that heat. And then this, you do want to salt when it's in there. Salt, add some pepper. Make sure the oil is on top of the egg. I mean, not necessary, but the trick I'm gonna teach you Let's say you don't have a lid. If you have a lid, that'd be great. Add the lid. If not, wet your hands a little bit. Add a little bit of moisture in here. And cover. That's going to help steam it. 
and make sure it cooks from the top. So then that way you don't, like your whites are set. It's not super wet or runny. It's cooked great from the bottom, but you still have that nice and runny yolk. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same knife right now for the avocado. Let me just give it a rinse. And wash it off real quick. While that egg cooks. All right, ooh, it's cutting like butter. Here we got the avocado. Let's prepare a plate. Crispy breakfast potatoes. There you go. See, it's set. This thing's good to go. Look at that. Turn this off. Some avocado. Pieces right there. Easy, easy breakfast. Easy thing to decide to make these breakfast potatoes. I always like adding some salt to my avocado. Really boosts up the flavor. Okay. Well, let's cut into that yolk. Let's see. Ah, uh, beautiful. See that? Amazing. All right. Let's bite into it. Mmm. Ooh, super good. Potatoes can't miss. Avocado? Alright, this is A1, guys. Enjoy your day. I'll see you guys next time.